to our defending champion, Anthony Wall, Russell Knox. Yeah, quality golfer, very calm way about him, which severely suits, for me, Lynx golf. You never quite know what's around the corner. And a beautiful golf shot there for Knox. That was his second to the seventh. Here's Tommy Fleetwood at the par 3 eighth. Another beautiful hole. Yeah, 157 today. Tommy. There you see evidence of some of the undulations. That one's gone with him. And this one's going to get better and better. Dare I say, great shot. Well, Tommy, seven straight pars on the card to this point. Gavin Green's just made three birdies in a row. He's on the 16th tee, as you can see. He's a lovely player, Mark. It's very high, very long. Not quite got the touch yet with his wedges, but he's a severe talent who's going to be around a long time. Yeah, won the Asian uh, Order of Merit, didn't he, a couple of years ago? Uh, Rafa Cabrera Bayo, 157 yards to the pin at this eighth hole. Pins on 33. Right at the back. Bringing it in off the right bank. Oh, well, well played. So we go to Lorenzo Vera at the par three, 16th. I never knew BMW stood for Bayerische Motor and Werken. That makes two of us at least, probably three and maybe many more. <laughs> They're plastered behind the tee. It's another nice car, though, Mark. Larry Ball well below his feet, out of the rough at 14. Second shot. <laughs> the luck of the Irish. What about that? It's the only way he could stop it. My word, that was travelling, wasn't it? Beaming smile from Larry. Ireland's Gavin Moynihan. Good line. What about the weight? Oh, only perfect. This looks pretty nasty with the back of the rough there. I thought this is one way you'd want to lob it up in the air. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, yes! <laughs> Martin! Oh, what a chipper he is! <laughs> Wonderful stuff from Kaima. How about that for imagination? It's a birdie two at the 16th. Now, how Tong Lee. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Pick that one out. A real character, Hao Tong Lee. It's a little bit of a right to left to here for Ron, but he'll take two putts. Tricky flag here on two. Oh, Ron strikes early, and that was going in at some pace, wasn't it? Let's go to Lee Westwood. He's putting over this ridge at the second, making it slightly awkward. Well, less awkward than it looked. It did look nasty, but coped with very well by Westwood. Good opportunity there to get close. favours the brave. Third shot now of the sixth for John Ram. Oh. That was just glorious from a long way down. Two birdies so far today for Harrington. Oh, Ooh. make that three. <laughs> How good was that? <laughs> I don't think he was expecting that one. I would say so. As we look at Ian Poulter, left of nine. 
Yeah, we've seen a lot of players down here because of the camber of the fairway. Eighth appearance for Polter. In you go. Go on. Have a right to left chance of birdie at the ninth. But he does at nine. Has he learnt? Matt Wallace. I think he will. Oh, this has got a chance. Get in there! Five birdies, two drop shots today for Mexico's Abraham Anser. Here he is in the greenside bunker at 15. Oh, oh. gosh! <laughs> Swinger from the right for his birdie. Yeah. Oh, but he has hold some putts out there today, and another one goes in for Wallace. No wonder he's smiling. It's over that hill, everything's starting to slope away from him, isn't it? One under playing the par three eighth birdie putt for the Englishman. Oh, sparkling stuff from a man who's won the Dunhill Lynx Championship at St Andrews a couple of times. Let's go to an answer, I should say, at the 13th putting up and over this ridge. That's a one putt up and over the saddle. Sweden's Anton Carlsen played nicely last week down at Valderrama. A little bit of green to work with, so this shouldn't be too hard. In you go. Oh, there we go. That's maybe why we saw that one. That was beautifully played. Pepperell trying to scuttle one up that quite steep bank. Oh, he's played that beautifully. Oh, my goodness me. That is glorious from Pepperell. <laughs> Ram, we saw him up on the 13th green. Difficult part, but we did see Ansa hold this earlier on. And Ram makes the birdie as well. <laughs> Wallace, second to 15. Now that's more like it. That's what we've come to expect from him over the last couple of seasons. Brilliant shot from Wallace. on Lynx courses when you get a bit of a flyer it hurtles and then sometimes it'll hurtle back oh, and nearly pop in absolutely that's a little honey far end Gavin Green oh that's what you want that was steaming past if he didn't hit the flagstick Try and get a little bit of spin. We haven't seen much spin on these greens. They seem to be running on a bit from these sort of shots. Beauty. Wonderful effort from Russell Knox. Very impressive. That's almost cut across that to hold that against the hill. Now the impressive swing, watch this for a golf swing for Lorenzo Vera. 
beautiful rhythm, uses his body back and through so well. So he rarely gets out of sync. Quite honestly, he should do a lot better than he does. That's a gorgeous shot for the Frenchman. Very talented golfer. Beautiful play by Russell Lodge. Absolutely. Uh, a gem of a shot. Caddy looking very proud of him. It has been a very disappointing day and indeed tournament so far for Graham McDowell, who came in with high hopes. Has known success on this course. That's a bit of a late boost. Irishman Seamus Power plays in the States. Doing well. And this for another birdie. Oh, well done, him up to minus three. Oh, what a shot. What a shot by Knox. That's going to go right up to the pin. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, that putt for an eagle. That'll be for round of 68, the five under total. Oh, well, well, I don't know where he dragged that out from. Martin Keimer, eighth hole today, one, three, five. So, in these conditions, it, it should be a wedge, but possibly might be just a small nine for the German. And that's a better pin. It was tight right yesterday. We'll see a few birdies there today. Now, towards the back of the green today, long, thin green at nine. We've seen a few guys struggle on this. This is Hao Tong Lee. Watch this for a celebration. To Sullivan at the second. He tends to not shy away from putts when he gets a chance. Here we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sullivan's off and running. This is Spain's Rafa Cabrera Bayo. Yeah, a bit of a mixed bag today. Four birdies and a couple of bogeys. This might help though. Probably five birdies. Beautiful shot. It will pick up the story of Mike Lorenzo Vera, the Frenchman, at the ninth. This looks very handsome. Oh, an eagle for Mike Lorenzo Vera. A two at the ninth. Yes, take a bow indeed. So here is Robert Rock, second last green to go even lower leading the way oh what a pot that is unbelievable his 12th three of this third round that's outrageous <laughs> andy sullivan at the par four seventh hole very tasty That's a big move all of a sudden. Now in 32 and an eagle. Four under for the day. Super Sander senior. Lombard. Big drive down the ninth. Oh, that was a beautiful sound. Yeah. Never anywhere else with that noise. Just gorgeous. Lombard's got a pretty good line. Ball just a little bit below his feet. 146. Just trying to work out how quick this is going to come out. Oh, there you go. After a beautiful birdie. And there will be another one for me. That's the sort of luck you need when you've had a, a shaky start. Wiesberger from the elevated 16th tee, the wonderful par three towards the end. This the hitch championship course, the old course. Fine tee shot. Been a great day for Padraig Harrington. This, though, you see a smile on his face finally. Yes, sir. Poor, poor 
Second shot from Sullivan, left him here short sided, it's all downhill. Oh, he's played that beautifully, Andy Sullivan. What a shot! Get in there! Oh, that is supply. Andy Pepper always a great swinger of the club. Steady round, but that looks like it's almost guaranteed for a birdie. Robert Rock has had 11 threes so far. It's amazing, but can he get a two here on the 16th? He certainly can. putt for Forrest. That's not made a birdie in the first four holes. There we go. See how hard he's having to hit that. We had a good wand, didn't we, the other day, Mark? Get in, you can go. Oh, that'll do. Not quite sure what came out there, but that was certainly disappeared. Not quite as difficult as I thought. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is Robin Dawson, the Waterford man on the tee at the par three fifth hole, the Dell, the blind tee shot over the hump. Oh, hello. Go in you go. Great shot, well done. Would love to see this man do well today. To the second and Wiesberger's third shot. Often takes quite big divots on his pitches. When you do it like that, who cares? What a shot that is. Now Andy Sullivan, aggressive putter, always has been. Pretty rarely leaves putt shorts. There you go. That one disappeared. The tee shot on the fifth. Remember, completely blind over the sand dune. Oh, very nearly oh, that hole in one. After the Klondike comes the Dell for Andy Sullivan. Oh! Well, he pitched about two feet from the hole. And you can see that Bernd Wiesberger is in close there as well. John Ram on the seventh now. 32 yards on, right from the left. Oh, oh God. that was played to perfection. From the right hand rock to get that control, that was exceptional. to wake a few people up if he holds this for eagle pretty flat putt got a flat part of the green at 12. chances watch Whoa. out well what a run this is for john Rahm. up to 18. short while ago wade ormsby made an eagle here the south african has a chance of a three. It's off up to 14. Andy Sullivan already has played. He's through the back of the green. Wiesbergen out. Oh, something special there from the Austrian. Beautiful shot. Big shot in here though, five iron. Oh, look at this, look at this from John Rahm. Oh, inches away from an eagle two. He is on a roll. It's a different class, isn't it? To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.